we definitely been late with the reaction, media reaction videos after the last two Lions uh, losses. But um, it is what it is. We back Motor City Lions talk. And um, we never waver, unflappable like the Lions. We took a loss today, the Detroit Football Lions, losing 38 to 52 to the New Orleans Saints at the Superdome, which is a hard place to get a victory. We had beat the Saints the last four times there. We wasn't no strangers to being um, at the Superdome, and um, we just didn't have it today. And uh, Matthew Stafford was the primary reason for that. Maybe he should have took a seat today. We should have rested him. I wasn't a pr promoter of that, but I think um, I think we should have sat him. You know, I really do. Um, he wasn't healthy at all. And uh, the right guard, T.J. Lang, was out. Um, and he didn't play well. It, 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 and he's the primary reason why we lost this game. And if you believe in momentum swings and momentum shifts, um, when he uh, – you know, uh, you know, when we gave up that touchdown, you know, early on, the, uh, you know, early in the game and f we put the Saints on the board that that crowd got the rocking and um, it just won the momentum. And I, when I knew then it was going to be a tough game. To, the, it was going to be a tough uphill battle to get back in the game. And uh, we just didn't have it. And what's funny about it is the Saints actually fl flipped the script today. Um, they became more of a potent running game. They they linked on the running game, and um, the running game worked for them. They lined up. They knew Hunoli Nada was out, and um, you know, not saying that Alshon Robinson and Akeem Smith didn't do a good job today because Akeem Smith made some plays and Robinson um, coming back off an of injury. It's just we wasn't prepared for that, and I don't think anybody in the league would have been prepared for the the Saints running running the ball after trading Adrian Peterson, running that ball down the throat, and them playing ball control. And just moving it and just doing, um, you know, little short passes to Ted Ginn and, and doing pick plays and just, you know, having Drew Brees pretty much manage the game. That's what it came back to. And that just showed you that they had a lot of respect for the Detroit defense and their pass, and their pass rush. And they wanted to protect um, Drew Brees, especially with Armstead coming back off the shoulder injury, they left tackle. And they wanted to be physical. And if the, and the Saints are physical like that and they run the ball with a uh, potential p threat downfield, I think the Saints could be one of the better teams in the NFC, especially with this defense now starting to evolve and take the ball away. Um, I told you guys in a, uh, a preview video and prediction video that um, the Saints were, um, you know, improved defense. They really were. I watched them on film. They were improved. A lot of young talent. Um, Marshawn Lattimore, Kenny Vaccaro, um, good linebacker. I think it was a Craig Roberts was his name. Did good today. Cameron Jordan was the guy name I was getting last week, all week. Um, you know, and that's what it was, man. We made a comeback, and then Stafford turned the ball over again. It's just the offense is seriously holding this team back. You know, um, props to the Saints. Um, they came in with a game plan and executed it to the T. Uh, we made a comeback, but the offense is just terrible. I mean – you know, now when we're talking about the running game being horrible, the passing game, I understand that Stafford is not healthy, and that's a disclaimer there, but the passing game ain't been there when he was healthy either. You know, we're not blocking. Um, we're getting outplayed up front. We're getting outplayed in, 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 in outside on the receivers. We get nothing from the tight ends. We get nothing from the running back. We get nothing from the receivers until it doesn't count. And um, this, this, this offense is truly lost. It has no... No true scheme. It has no true workings. It's just by week by week scheme. I don't see any consistency um, that works in this offense, you know. And it's just in disarray, you know. That's that's as much as I can say. Today it was in disarray, and um, we had some good plays downfield, but we have no we have no clue how to feed our beast, you know. We have no clue what to do with Golden Tate in this offense, you know. This is a guy that can catch a hundred balls. That should be in the slot doing with. With Adam Thine dealing doing in Minnesota, you know, Marvin Jones, we putting him in positions, you know, not to be successful. Eric Ebron just ain't got it, can't cut it. We seen it today. One, the top ten pick over Odell Beckham and Aaron Donald High Clinton Dix, one catch for nine yards. Why is this guy still playing? For what? You know, put Darren Fields in there. He's a better blocker. Even if he goes one for nine, he's a better blocker. We have no real red zone type of scheme or anything like that. But it really doesn't worry me, though. You know, it really doesn't worry me. I understand that Aaron Rodgers 
Um, got knocked out the game with a broken collarbone. Like he might need surgery and be out. If you got a a, a, a collarbone, you let it heal. You can be back in seven weeks. He recovered in seven weeks last time, but um, I think he's going to opt for the surgery and be done. Um, Brent Hurley didn't look good today, but I think McCarthy have him ready. But the division is up for grabs, and I think the next best team is Minnesota. Um, Chicago did win today, but um, they 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 they're a joke. You know, Minnesota was I mean uh, you know Baltimore is a joke offensively. Um, they're a joke. And it, now they can't stop the run. I'm not worried about Chicago. I'm worried about getting Matthew Stafford healthy. And, you know, while we getting him healthy, he rehabbing and doing what he got to do, coming up with a scheme to put, you know, Marvin Jones and Golden Tate in the best positions to be um, a threat. You know, more bunches, more motion routes, to get them not bumped, to get them free releases on the line. You know, lining Golden Tate up in the backfield, you know, Using Marvin Jones in the slot some more. Maybe putting T.J. Jones on the outside, putting Kenny Galladay on the outside, and let, letting Jones and Tate work the slot. Just being creative. You know, certain, certain, something like a Mike Marsh offense. We have no creativity. And, you know, look at Sean Payton. They had a clear plan today. You know, it was to run the ball, and everything is playing off the run. Get their running backs involved in the flash. Let their playmakers uh, make plays. And that's what we don't do. It's the same little routes with, with, with Theo Relic out the backfield. And um, Abdullah just not cutting it, man. You know, he's really not cutting it. Um, and that's another problem. Um, and offensive line is the biggest problem. That's the biggest problem. I can't say it enough. It's the biggest problem. And they got to get those guys on the same accord. You know, it's not easy building a camaraderie amongst, uh, you know, you know the line. The lineman, then you throw the tight end block, and then you trying to chip and, and, and blocking and protection schemes. It ain't going well. You know, but it takes time to build that camaraderie. You know, so we got to get these guys time. They got to continue to get better at their schemes. Um, but until that happens, we're not going to be able to do anything. And they could block perfect, but we just don't have the running game. We have useless running backs other than theoretic. And, you know, that is what it is. That was what Bob Quinn was going to do a die off of. Um, will we need a new offensive coordinator? Potentially. I would like to see Noah Turner in there. Hugh Jackson might get fired. He did great things with Andy Dalton. We need somebody that's proven with a proven scheme, you know, if this doesn't work out with Jim Bob Quitter, he can't fix this. And I anticipate him not being able to fix this, especially if Stafford doesn't get healthy. But I'm still not worried. Uh, the Lions got a ton of talent. Taylor Decker come back. Um, they can make a trade for Sammy Hill or another running back. Um, so they got deals that need to be made. But the first thing that needs to be done is getting e Eric Ebron the hell up out of there, you know. And then getting Taylor Decker back and getting your running back that really can run the damn ball and getting your line on point. And, and, and scheming ways to put Jones and Tate in successful situations. You know, that's my takeaway from this game, you know. But I'm still not worried, very confident. We're on to next week. We're moving on to the next game. One pride, we gone.